Than a whale, he can swim anywhere. He can breathe underwater and go flying through the air. undersea realm of fabled Atlantis, the rightful monarch of the seven seas, the mighty Prince Namor, pursues his quest for Neptune's sacred trident. While in the palace royal, a gloating usurper sits upon the golden throne. The evil warlord, Krang. Namor must perish so that I shall remain ruler of the realm. Then nothing shall stop me from waging war upon the surface world. While in another part of the regal palace, the lovely Lady Dorma awaits the return of her prince. Oh, Namor, my love, truly I fear for your life. Even now the evil Krang plots to destroy you without mercy. The unsuspecting Namor knows not that I follow his every move. He will never survive this quest, for I have planned his doom. Unaware of the scheming Krang, Namor, the true prince, reaches the fearsome, forbidden deeps. I must find a clue to Neptune's trident. It should be here, but I see no hint, no sign. Wait. An iron door bearing the mark of Neptune. I have found it. Only by capturing the trident can I regain my rightful throne. Every second is vital. This is no ordinary door. Only the true submariner could lift it. What grim jest. What hollow mockery is this? Nothing. There is naught but water below. But hark. Something approaches from the Stygian deeps. Believe the evidence of thine eyes, gallant one. The voice of my lord Neptune. The clue you seek is before you. Sparkling in the mouth of one of the humblest of my undersea subjects. A symbolic gem whose brilliance has lighted the path before me. I know now that I must seek the forbidden diamonds of doom. They lie at the farthest corner of my realm, and it is there that I must venture to face whatever perils await me. So spake Neptune. The diamonds of doom. I need fear the submariner no more, for none have ever survived their power. My throne is secure. Now the time has come to dwell on pleasanter matters. The Lady Dorma. While her matchless beauty alone is a prize for any king, she is truly beloved by the people. And with her beside me on the throne, none would ever dare challenge my royal reign. Meanwhile, in another chamber. It was I who set Namor on this quest. And if my true prince dies, it is I who am his murderer. My lady, there is no need for you to weep. Say only that I may have your hand, and half of this realm shall be thine. You cannot give what is not rightly yours, my lord. Have a care, haughty one. I am still the king, and my royal patience is not without limit. Now speak, but choose your words most cautiously, lest they be your last. You dare call yourself king. You are the king of villainy, treachery, and deceit. The throne of Atlantis will never be yours whilst Namor lives, and live he shall, if justice still be sacred. I'll hear no more. Now you shall pay for this monumental indignity. I offered you a monarch's throne. But you have chosen disaster. Whom the king cannot conquer, the king shall destroy. Such is the will of Krang. Namor, my love, I have failed you in the past. But I shall die like a queen. Without complaint, without surrender. <laughs> the vapors of gas were not deadly. But you have imprisoned me within a plastic cage. Yet it will avail you not, for I shall never consent to be your bride. That remains to be seen, my lady. Never is a long, long time. My resources are limitless. I merely touch my belt control once more, 
and you shall learn what it means to incur the wrath of your king. Farewell, my lady Dorma. The platform is descending to the street level. It is slowing down. But punishment now lies in store for me. Ah, oh, I see he plans to humble me, to display me to the crowds as a helpless captive. Citizens of Atlantis, attend the words of your monarch, His Majesty, crying. Behold the fate which befalls any who incur the king's displeasure. All willful disobedience, the Lady Dorma is hereby banished forever to the subterranean world of the Faceless One. The Faceless Ones? As he had put me to death before I heard those dreaded words. Will Prince Namor learn of Lady Dorma's plight in time, or is she doomed to a fate worse than death? To begin her punishment, the Lady Dorma is brought to the base of an undersea mountain. Leave us, Atlanteans. Return to your master. I will dispatch the female. That voice, it is evil Xantor, he who serves the faceless ones. Sooner or later, all who displease Krang must come before me. But you, my lady, are the fairest victim yet. Stay thy tongue, evil one. So, you remain a noble woman to the end, do you? Well, my lady, see what your pride avails you now. As I slowly lower the dome of doom. Now she belongs to the faceless ones. And with those fateful words, the dome plummets downward until... I've reached the final depths. And there they wait. The faceless ones. Meanwhile, at the farthest corner of his realm, Prince Namor, rightful monarch of the Seven Seas, nears his goal. Suddenly, just ahead, a dazzling brilliance illuminates the water, and the mighty submariner knows at last he has found the Diamonds of Doom. Their beauty is beyond belief. Surely nothing so lovely could... Oh, my senses reel. My limbs grow weak. It is the gems. I have learned the danger here. Too late. As the blinding gem sap the life force from Namor's body, still another menace appears. Ah, uh, a new victim whose waning strength shall serve the Demon of the Diamonds. I have but one chance. As Namor, Lord of the Seven Seas, I command all that live within this realm, from the humblest fish to the lowest seaweed, to send me their strength. My word is still law. I feel the power returning to my limbs. Swear eternal servitude to me. Trespasser, or perish. You speak not. Thus you have sealed your fate. By the rotting reefs of coral, how found you the strength to carry my sword? In truth, I am strength. I am prince of the blood, and I fight for my birthright. My jewel hat. Without it, I too may fall victim to the diamonds. Ah, I have reached it in time. The battle is won. Nothing can save him now. Now, in the name of Neptune, I conclude this affair. There is no time to absorb additional strength. But if the ones I am summoning are near... You are naught but a fraud, and I shall vanquish you. No, oh, stay back. Nothing can survive your touch. Once again, the accursed submariner is saved. Can nothing stop him? So long as Namor lives, the crown can never truly be mine. Sire, the people are in revolt! He has banished Pandora to the land of the Faceless Ones and sent our true Prince Nemor to his doom. The fools! Did they think me unprepared for this? These are me! Stay back! While in another palace corridor... To the throne room! 
Sire, the rebel approaches. Charge right into my blasters, traitor. We have you at last. Look out! He's turning that dial. And on the mobile defense wall. Now it is you who are in jeopardy. Saved by the electric eels, Namor is startled to hear a familiar voice. Thou hast done well, my son. The voice of Father Neptune, coming from the eel. Now one last trial awaits thee, but thou must find the final testing place thyself. And as the voice of Neptune fades away, Namor receives a message from the eels. The Lady Noa, the faceless ones. They are trying to tell me Lady Dorma is a prisoner of the faceless ones. Only I can save her, but to do so I must abandon the quest and forfeit my throne. Yet I cannot leave Dorma to the mercy of the faceless ones. So saying, the princely figure plunges into the depths, while fathoms below the Lady Dorma recoils in horror as her captors surround her. They're coming closer. Nothing can save me now. Nothing save the hour of the valiant Submariner. But if Dorma is saved, the quest is lost. And with it, the kingdom of Atlantis. They have her surrounded. My only hope is to attack with blinding... Namor, go ye back. Even though my life is forfeit, you must survive. In Atlantis, an angry Krang plots his revenge upon the helpless citizens. Men of Atlantis, hear the words of your monarch. You have dared to challenge my reign, and for that you shall be punished. Attention, robot tank driver. Clear your memory bank. Memory bank cleared and ready, master. Proceed to center of municipal square. Upon reaching destination... Perform program function G. Lock memory bank out. Minutes later, as the mechanized monster approaches the municipal square... <laughs> this is your first lesson. A second one shall be permanent. But there is one who escapes. The bearded elder sets out to find the true ruler of Atlantis, who at that moment is being overwhelmed by the faceless ones. They're tearing at my plastic age. It cannot last much longer. Have courage, my lady. The plastic age is about to burst. Dorma. The exploding cage has hurled the devil from her, but it has injured my lady as well. She lies so still. Ah, I have found my prince at last. But what fateful event transpires? They are almost upon me. Advance then, evil ones. Then, without warning, one of the faceless creatures raises a webbed hand, and the others fall back as the awesome visage of Neptune appears. Namor, you have forsaken the quest. You have broken the covenant. I cannot dispute your words, my lord. I have failed thee. Not so, my son. Every attribute of a prince is thine. Courage, strength, loyalty. But most of all, a heart which can love. A soul which can sacrifice. With a wave of my arm, I banish the faceless ones. Stand forth, Submariner and claim yon trident. The throne of Atlantis is thine. My prince, I journey to tell you the evil warlord Krang oppresses your people. I must return to Atlantis at once. My subjects shall suffer no longer. I command that you carry the Imperial Trident. Go, your highness. I shall guard the scepter with my life. But as Namor reaches the gates of Atlantis... Shoot him down! He must be stopped! My only chance is to do what they least expect. He's broken through! My subjects, they lie unconscious. What has the tyrant done? Attack him! Destroy him! I must save Lady Dorma. He has reached the revitalizer. Awake, my lady.
lady. You must live. You must. He can still be vanquished. One pull of this lever. My prince, seize your trident. Take my hand, traitor. Now turn, evil Krang, and face your judgment. The crown of Atlantis is mine. Mercy, my lord. Mercy. Did you have mercy for Lady Dorma? She who now hovers between life and death. And now let us pray that I am not too late. If she is to be saved, it must happen now. She stirs. Dorma lives. And amid great rejoicing, the rightful monarch of Atlantis, the Lord of the Seven Seas, Prince Namor I, is restored to his golden throne. While in a palace dungeon, there is one who does not rejoice. You have risked your life in the service of your liege. Rise, citizen Bashti. From this moment forth, you shall be my lord, Bashti, Grand Vizier of Atlantis. The prisoner Krang, sire! Even death is too honorable for such a tyrant as you. You are hereby exiled from Atlantis forever. But as the evil warlord roams the deep and endless undersea reaches, someday I shall return. Someday. Stronger than a whale, he can swim anywhere. He can breathe underwater and go flying through the air. 